Hey, what's up guys, in this video we're breaking down the 5 best cable modems for 2022 on the market, without further ado, let's get started. And by the way, links to all the featured products are given in the description below. Cable modems are required for the modulation and demodulation of the signals with aux cables as the interface. In layman's terms, the modem, not to be confused with the router, changes the signal so you can receive internet. So if you're sick of seeing that recurring charge on your monthly bill for renting a cable modem from the company, now's the perfect time to go all in and spring for your own. In the age of the smart home where video calling is becoming more useful than ever, this is the time to pick from the best cable modems to find the ideal model for you. The best cable modems will be rated as top of the line in these areas, as will be seen in this guide. The fifth product on our list, Netgear CM500, most versatile. The Netgear CM500 is best for budgeters with a speed plan of 300 megabits per second or below, which is most consumers. The Netgear CM500 is a great value and will work with any cable ISP. If you have a speed plan above 300 megabits per second, you can opt for one of Netgear's more expensive modems, but its value isn't as good as other high-tier modem brands. This beauty of a modem, the Netgear CM500, is a high-speed product that is certified for DOCSIS 3.0 to work with most major cable service providers. Third-party modems, such as the CM500, are becoming more and more popular as they offer customers various useful benefits, such as eliminating the monthly fee of renting the provider's modem, which can amount to roughly $10 a month in some areas. The fourth product on our list, Motorola MB7621, most compact. Motorola's MB7621 is an affordable cable modem that can pay for itself in only a few months with the money you'll save by returning your rental modem. Thanks to its 24x8 DOCSIS 3.0 channels it can easily handle the fastest sub-gigabit internet plans available, with support for upload speeds exceeding 200 megabits per second and download speeds theoretically capable of reaching nearly 1 gigabit per second, although you'll only get around 600 megabits per second from most major cable providers. The MB7621 also features an attractive low-profile design that means you can leave it in plain sight without the risk of it looking like an eyesore, and it won't take up much space. It's also certified for use with all major cable providers, including Comcast Xfinity for speeds of up to 600 megabits per second and Spectrum and Cox for 400 megabits per second plans, so you can have it up and running out of the box in mere minutes. The third product on our list, TP-Link AC1750, most valuable. This one's for the non-tech-savvy crowd who don't necessarily need the latest, fastest, priciest modem. It's a time-tested and reliable option, with DOCSIS 3.0 and 16 download channels with 4 upstream. Most conveniently though, the TP-Link AC1750 is a cable modem and router in one, and is still plenty fast for typical internet usage like streaming or gaming in 4K. For such a slim unit, it's got plenty going for it, 2 USB and 4 gigabit Ethernet ports, 6 internal antennas, and up to 680 megabits per second download speeds. It's an overall excellent replacement if you're tired of using rented gear from your ISP. There are a few, but college students would be well suited with this modem. It can be hard to choose the perfect modem when you haven't even chosen your major, so maybe just settle for the cheap and decent. The second product on our list, Netgear Nighthawk CM2000, best quality. Netgear's Nighthawk CM2000 is a high-performance cable modem with a sleek design that looks the part. It can keep up with the fastest internet plans available today, and well into the future. With two upstream and two downstream OFDM channels, you can achieve download speeds of up to 2.5 gigabits per second and upload speeds reaching 800 megabits per second. Don't worry if your ISP doesn't support DOCSIS 3.1 yet, though, as the CM2000 is fully backward compatible with the more common DOCSIS 3.0 technology, featuring 32 by 8 channel support so it can handle the fastest sub-gigabit plans too. Netgear CM2000 all have 2.5 GBE, gigabit Ethernet, ports, which can connect to Wi-Fi 6 routers that support the 2.5 GBE standard. While we considered the future proofing each modem provides, 2.5 GBE, are faster, routers and 2 gigabit internet plans are still too scarce for Wirecutter to recommend these modems. The first product on our list, Aeris Surfboard SB8200, best overall, the Aeris Surfboard SB8200 is among the very first modems to allow users to quickly download by supporting both the new and older version of the DOCSIS system. When the surfboard was first introduced, it seemed way ahead of its time since it supported the DOCSIS standard, which had not yet been spread among users. Most internet providers prefer using the Aeris cable modems and the Aeris surfboard as a future-proof modem. The modem is very lightweight and can be easily moved from one place to another. It is also pretty small with a compact design that enables it to be tucked away in tight spaces. The stability of the Aeris surfboard is reinforced. It has four feet which have rubber pads on them to protect it from sliding away or falling over. The modem has several LED lights that serve to be very special indicators for users. The green light shows that there is a high-speed internet connection. Buyer's guide. Most cable modems look the same, little black boxes that accept a coaxial connection and make the internet available as a standard network connection. But under the hood there are some pretty important details. Pay close attention to these factors as you shop. Compatibility. 
The single most important thing about any cable modem you buy is that it has to be compatible with your internet service provider's network. Luckily, most ISPs support a wide variety of modems, so it isn't typically a huge concern, but you should still consult your ISP's documentation for a list of officially supported modems and stick to that list as you compare different models. Durability and longevity. Most modems can last for years without needing to be replaced, in fact, you're more likely to upgrade your modem than you are to repair it, but low-quality models can fail within a year. Stability is worth investing in, especially when it comes to getting internet coverage, so make sure to read user reviews of different modems to find one that will last you for years. Integrated Wi-Fi. A lot of cable modems have begun to blur the line between modems and routers, offering all-in-one devices that do the work of both the cable modem, making the internet available to wired devices, and a wireless router, setting up a Wi-Fi network. If you don't already have a wireless router, this can be a perfect way to establish Wi-Fi for the first time. Just make sure that it's situated in a place where it can provide wireless coverage to as much of your home as possible. Design. Ultimately, the design of your modem probably takes a backseat to performance and speed, but that doesn't mean you should ignore design altogether. After all, the device will be in your home, and it may very well be out in the open, since you'll be stuck putting it wherever your coaxial cable comes into your house. Brands. There are a number of companies that make cable modems, and they're not all created equal. We generally recommend getting a modem from a brand that has a proven track record when it comes to networking equipment. For example, you might want to consider brands like Netgear, Motorola, and Aris. If you're purchasing a cable modem, router combo, you may also want to lean toward a company that has a stronger background in producing Wi-Fi routers rather than just cable modems. As you can see, there are a number of things to keep in mind when buying a cable modem. Hopefully, however, it's now a little easier to find the right modem for your needs. In case it's not, we have a few recommendations. We think it's worth buying a dedicated modem and router separately, especially if you already have a good router that you like. Thanks for watching, and that's all for this video. If you liked this video and it helped you out in any way, please give the video a like and hit that subscribe button. Take a moment to hit the bell icon so you'll get notified of all our new latest uploads. Hope to see you guys in the next video till next time I'll see you later.